Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the animal heads for Character Creator 3.4 avatar. So let's have a look. This is my CC3 avatar and you can see now she, she has a tiger head. So I'm going to show you step by step how to create this. You can see actually we have a lot of animals in Icron 7. For example, my versions what am I have? I click here, I click the prop. Under the prop there, I can see the animal world. I can have some of the animals here. I can have cow. I can have goats. How am I going to extract their head and put it on put it on our CC3 avatar here? Alright. So now I start all over again from the beginning. I'm going to demo the tiger. So I will just come to here, one of the avatar there. The template. The avatar, I have the animal world volume. For example, the tiger. Right. In, in order to extract the head, first you must edit in 3D exchange. Then, after that, extract it as obj file. I will export it here on my desktop. I create a new folder here. I name it as tiger. Alright, inside the tiger's folder. Here, I click here to export the obj. I will export here, copy the destination location, control C and paste here, control V. I name it as Tiger. Export the OBZ. Click OK. Now, another thing is the, the material. We are going to extract the, the material from here. So now you can see the Tiger's material. Click here, save all the materials texture. On my desktop, I will create a folder. Name it as Material. All right. I select this folder. It all will automatically extract it. Now you can see I have two folder. One is the OBZ. Another one is the material. Next, what am I going to do is open the Blender. You can just go and download the Blender. It is just free. You can scroll down, go to my video description. The Blender's download link is already in my video descriptions. Just go and click it. Then you should be able to download the Blender. Open Blender. And then as demo, I will just delete everything. Just select three of these, the camera, the cube and the light, I press delete button. Next, I'm going to import the OBZ file. File, import the OBZ. It is on my desktop, it's here, Tiger, the Tiger OBZ, it will be here. Now, you can see, it is here. What can, what can I do? I click here to turn on the texture, you can see all the texture are complete. Alright, next, what am I going to do is, go to the edit mode, and then here, I click X, so that it all view from the X as is. And then, here I click here to choose the wireframe mode. At this moment, I may just select select the reset here. And then, I press delete button. And delete all the vertices. Now it only left here. So this one also delete it. Now, once you turn it on, you should be able to see all of this. So now we just want to have one round. The rest, like here, I click here. Okay, you have to select the face. Click here to select the face. Click this one. Hold the control and click the last one. You press delete button to delete all the faces. Next one. Click here and then click the last one. 
hold the control, click here, wait. Click here, hold the control, and then hold the control, click here. So now, this one already selected. You press delete button to delete all the faces. And now this part also, click here, click the control, it automatically select the whole row, press delete button to delete all the vertices. Next. We are going to close this surface. So now you click here to select only the edge. You click one, and then you hold the control. You hold the control, click another one, hold the control, click here, and then hold the control, click the last one. You can see this circle already selected. You right click it, then click new face from the edge. It's okay. And then you just need to move it out a little bit. Or you can just press S to make it small. And then that is enough. Then you move it out a little bit. All right. Like this, it is well enough. And then at this moment, you can just save it. File, save as, save on the desktop, or just name it as Tiger Head. Save as. And then I will export it as FBX file. Click File, Export. Export FBX file. Always remember. The path mode you choose copy. Here you need, need to activate it. Tigerhead.fbx. Click export fbx file. Now you should be able to see the tigerhead.fbx. It's already here. Next, what you can do is just import into iClones, iClone 7. Here you can just start a new project. Do not save. And then you drag the FBX file into iClone. At this moment, you can't see because it, it is too big already. You need to lock the scale. Click here, lock the scale XYZ. The X you choose, click insert one and press enter. Now you can see the size is okay already. Next. You, dr you drag and scroll down. Change the pivot to the center and then Drag it up, click Reset Transform, and then click Zero Out. Next, at this moment, you are going to load all the materials just now. Click here, these are the UV, then click here. Load all materials, load from the desktop, the material folder, select the folder. Now everything will back and it is already recovered. Now you are going to put in in the CC3 character creator tree. What can you do? In your character creator tree here, you may just start a new project. I will show you how to do start from beginning. When you have nothing, just a main avatar in CC3. I'm going to show you how. And now we are waiting for the new avatar to, to be loaded. Now, this is the... This is the default avatar in Character Creator 3. What you are going to do is click here, send the avatar to iClone, and then wait in iClone 7. Now it is loading the CC avatar, the Character Creator 3 avatar. Now you can see the avatar already loaded. Next, what you are going to do is just attach the head. You press Q and double click to select the tiger's head. You click here, scroll down. You should be able to see pick parent attached to. Click pick parents and click the character creator tree head. Now it, atta it attached to CC base head. What you can do is just press W and move it up in that way. Now, it is free to move to adjust it. You can press you can press R to adjust the size as well. To be logic. It is just like a head. A hat. 
or a helmet or just a mask. Now it is okay already. And if you apply any of the motion here, just for example, you go to go to the contents, go go to the motions. Icron seven motions. You can just have a test. Apply some of the female motion. Do a gun. So now we can just have a look. Now we can see she is already with the tiger's head. Of course, you can make it bigger anytime. And I undo, I don't want to have any of the motion yet. You can save this head as well. You can just scroll up at here, edit in character creator. Then wait for a while in your character creator here, replace all, click OK. Now you can see it already finished loaded into character creator tree. You can adjust it anytime just by double click it. You can make it bigger, bigger anytime. Wait. Just make it bigger anytime if you want. You can adjust the position anytime. Now it is just like a mask. You can use it anytime. And you can save it as accessory as well. You just need to click here. Click custom, click the head, and then click plus. It will add it as the accessory next time. You press Q, double click it, you can delete it. Next time, when you want to use it, you just drag in the accessory. Then you can use it for any avatar, just by using the animal's head. Alright, that's all for today about how to create and attach any of the animal heads to the CC 3.4 avatar, character creator 3.4 avatar. And that is really easy. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful through your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.